he hacks back his mouth and just goes to spit a giant loogie on him, like... <sighs> He takes Sorry. whatever Sorry. kind of napkin there is and roll d20 and wipes. D20. Okay. No, roll a d20. Oh, uh, uh, Veas. Veas. Oh, sure. I'm chatting my phone. I was about to roll, roll it. <laughs> <laughs> yes, roll to see if you're able to wipe it out. Wipe it up. If you hit a one, you stab 17. yourself in the. Aim. All right, you hit him. Um, I take one of the cloths uh, that is on the table for people to wipe their mouths with or hands with uh, from their meals, and I wipe off my I wipe the spit the loogie off of my wherever it, he spit it, and I just say typical typical of a filthy savage. Cheshire hops up from the uh, from the bar and like jogs over to the. Uh... The, the half orc and the uh, Eladrin and gets in between them, and, like puts his hands on uh, their shoulders and like shoves them apart a little bit. And there's no reason to fight here. Like we said, the innkeeper doesn't want us fighting, and the last thing I want to do is spend the night sleeping on the street because you two got into a big fight. So go sit down, you big giant, thick-headed fool, and you quit looking down your nose at everybody. Like running towards you with their weapons drawn and whatnot, shouting mm -hmm. stuff and gobbling. Shali le leaps off of his horse and, and, and moves forward. Friends, we have goblins! The My character draws his sword. The half rides forward on his sword and yells back, It could be a trap! Somebody stay back in the caravan! And he pulls his uh, blade, going to prepare a prime, going to uh, prepare a hunter's quarry to the closest one, and just shoot two arrows with the uh, twin strike, whatever one he can... My my character draws his sword and hops out of the caravan. All right. Basically, they come in the. Shao Li notices that Talon had um asked Cheshire if he was looking for trouble. Shao Li then decides to get up, and stepping a few a few feet away from the bar sort of takes on a slight pose pointing at Talon. If you want trouble with him, you will have to have trouble with me as well, friend. He is my comrade, and I shall not let you do bring any harm to him. I'm stepping out, my dear, to breathe an atmosphere that simply reeks with class. And I trust that you'll excuse my dust when I step on the gas. For I'll be there 